Hello and full person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be discussing one of the potential resolutions to one of the biggest mysteries in regards to the Milky Way galaxy and in regards to galaxies orbiting around the Milky Way. A mystery that's generally not as well known, but nevertheless, in the past has actually caused quite a lot of headaches for a lot of cosmologists and astrophysicists studying various galaxies. But what exactly is this mystery? Well, it's actually in regards to how various smaller galaxies orbit around the Milky Way itself. So, if we were to look at, for example, evolution of galaxies from what we know about them, and if we look at the evolution of various galactic clusters, most of the modern understanding of how all of this works is usually achieved with various computer simulations. This one is the most famous one, it's known as the Illustris project. And many of these complex simulations will usually result in galaxies and the partners of those galaxies orbiting around one another in relatively hectic ways. Hectic as in they're not going to have very specific, very stable orbits and would usually have orbits that are kind of irregular and unpredictable, which I guess to some extent can be seen here as well. Many of these satellite galaxies seem to be located in random spots around the Milky Way. But as the scientists started to discover more of these satellite galaxies, and especially some of the smaller galaxies that were previously completely invisible to us, various dwarf galaxies that can only be detected using modern telescopes, the scientists started to discover something really unusual about their orientation. For some reason, many of them seem to form a kind of a plane around the Milky Way. Not all of them, but quite a few of them. As if many of them were forming some kind of a flat orbit around the galaxy. And though this is something we expect from stars and from planets orbiting those stars, this is not something the scientists expect from galaxies. And this kind of created a bit of a mystery and a bit of a problem. And the problem here was really simple. These various simulations the scientists ran, with various large massive galaxies forming in these supercomputer simulations, would only rarely have similar orientation. Most of the time they would be kind of random and would orbit around one another in somewhat random locations. Yet some of the Milky Way dwarf galaxies were forming this unusual polar structure. Today it's known as VPOS, Vast Polar Structure. Overall, it kind of resembles something like this. So it's not perfectly flat, but I guess it's flat enough, especially for some of these smaller galaxies. And so what exactly is happening here and how can this possibly form? Well, initially some of the scientists suggested that maybe this is actually the proof that dark matter doesn't exist as a matter, as basically particles. Maybe there is something else going on here and we need to rework some of the modern physics. So this was a pretty big problem for many decades now and it didn't really have a very good solution. But it wasn't a super big problem. We know of 60 small galaxies orbiting in the vicinity of the Milky Way within about 1.4 million light years away from the galaxy. And the majority do not form this plane, so only some of them do. With the galaxy we've discussed many times that has a lot of effect on the Milky Way, known as the Sagittarius Dwarf Galaxy, the videos about which you can find in the description. But the point was that some of the galaxies were still forming this unusual plane. And why and how they were doing so was not really explained by any modern theories. Even some of the other theories involving, for example, reworking gravitational formula. So what exactly was happening here? Why exactly were they forming this plane of satellites, as it's also known sometimes? Well, some of the earlier simulations using supercomputers determined that even by chance you can maybe sometimes form these, but not that often. Usually less than 5% of all galaxies had these unusual formations. But the chance was still there, and so some of the scientists behind this recent paper you can find in the description wanted to investigate this further using some of the modern observations from the iconic Gaia telescope. The telescope that has already collected data for over a billion different objects around us, including various stars and various galaxies. And specifically, collecting data on the motion of those objects and determining distances to them as well. In the process of releasing this paper that you can find in the description below, explaining their findings and explaining that no laws of physics, and especially dark matter, were in any way violated by these discoveries and by a lot of these observations. And here, Gaia telescope allowed them to trace something really important. It allowed them to trace and to also predict previous and future orbits of various galaxies, including the 11 classical galaxies that are usually used to discuss this particular phenomenon. And in the process, what they discovered was that, well, in about 100 million years from now, they all actually are going to move away in a completely different region of space, and that imaginary plane itself 
will no longer exist. Similarly, this plane did not exist 100 million years ago either. In other words, this really seems like a completely chance alignment. We basically find ourselves at just the right time in just the right place to actually see this. They sort of compare this to various constellations and various shapes we usually see in the night skies by basically having the solar system in just the right space at just the right time. And since there was no physical mechanism to explain these formations and why these galaxies are orbiting in the way that we see them orbit, the discoveries from this paper at the moment provide a bit of a closure. And when they use these models to simulate even more potential galaxies, they discover that this is actually a relatively common occurrence. In other words, it's not uncommon for a galaxy to form these unusual shapes that might last for just a few million years and then disappear completely. And so at least at the moment, it does provide a bit of a relief for scientists that were worried that this invalidates modern physics. Especially physics involving dark matter as a potential particle. It might still be in existence. And it also means that in a few billion years from now, all of these satellites around the Milky Way are going to be in completely random locations. Or possibly absorbed into the Milky Way. And so to some extent, this solves the problem for the Milky Way and a lot of galaxies orbiting around it. But here's the problem. Actually, I guess a much bigger problem. The Milky Way is not the only galaxy where this unusual pattern was discovered in the last few decades. As a matter of fact, a similar pattern seems to exist around the Andromeda galaxy close to us, and even the Centaurus A galaxy located not so far away either. And all three seem to share a somewhat similar phenomenon. Now, it's understandable if one of these galaxies had this, but for some reason, all three seem to have at least a few satellites that seem to form this unusual formation. The formation being that, well, they're basically in the same plane and they even orbit in the same direction. With at least one paper in the last few years trying to maybe resolve this once and for all. Although, there's no conclusive evidence just yet. For example, it's possible that a bunch of these dwarf galaxies moved in the same direction and basically got attached to these galaxies all at the same time. Although here, for this to occur around three major galaxies, something extraordinary would have to happen. The chance is just a little bit too low. A much more likely, but also a little bit less understood explanation, involves the very large formations known as the Cosmic Web. Basically, these huge web-like formations that permeate the entire universe and guide various galaxies. And so it's possible that these filaments guided various smaller galaxies to be placed in a very specific orbit around the Milky Way the Andromeda and Centaurus A. But it's not entirely clear how any of this would work. With the last and most likely explanation being that, well, maybe these were basically parts of a much larger galaxy that was tidally disrupted and essentially got shredded into smaller pieces. In other words, there were three galaxies orbiting around the three larger galaxies and eventually they broke apart, forming a lot of smaller chunks. And so at the moment, it's not clear which of these, if any of these, would explain what we're observing. But what is clear is that for the Milky Way galaxy, the current explanation from the recent paper seems to make the most sense. We're basically just there at the right moment at the right time. Nevertheless, there is definitely something intriguing going on here and something that seems to cause certain galaxies to acquire certain orbits that seem to be very unlikely statistically speaking. And so in that sense, the mystery is still there. It still hasn't really been solved completely. And I guess one explanation is that, well, maybe all three cases here require a different explanation. It's quite possible that all three galaxies have different mechanisms responsible for these unusual formations. But we're not going to know exactly what's happening until future studies. But at least for now, the Milky Way's mystery might have been kind of solved. At least for now. But there are so many other mysteries we've discovered in the last few years, and so many more that are still unexplained. And you can find some of them in the videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining Jenna membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.